Hey folks, Tactile here with a video about how to make music in Astroneer. First off, I am really glad to have instruments in Astroneer. It is something I've wanted for a while and the game devs did an amazing job at implementing it into the game. I'm going to begin with a little demonstration of just a few instruments that I have set up over here. And this is not all of them by any means. So you can put a horn on a resource or gas canister with any material and get a different instrument. The pitch of the instrument changes with the amount of resource in the canister. There are a few exceptions to the instruments where instead of changing pitch with the amount of resource, they change their sound entirely, such as steel and tungsten carbide. And I have those set up over here. One other resource that acts this way is graphite. Another cool feature about the horns in Astroneer is that they have no refresh rate, so this means there's not really any point in building more than one of any note with any one instrument, which makes it a lot easier too to build a song in just one location. And here is our super simple example for the tutorial when the saints go marching in. This next part won't be as necessary for people that are familiar with sheet music. You can get your notes and your timing from that pretty easy. But I don't read it very well myself, so I made a shorthand for putting songs into Astroneer and thought it might be useful for other folks. This is all 16 measures of our song, and in this case each measure represents two beats. The notch symbol represents a pause, and the double dashes mean repeat the previous note. This is the measure number here on the left. The top number after the note represents the octave, and the bottom number after a note represents the amount of ticks until the next note. The notes themselves I got from a piano tutorial. When I build this in game I usually use figurine platforms and on the platform each vertical row represents a measure. This platform holds the first eight measures of our song and on the left there's the four notes in our first measure. We have four buttons. Each of those delay timers is set to two just like what was written on our paper. And timing is very important in music, so I have set up my songs in a way so that even if they're all looped all day long to play, they're never going to lose sync if there's multiple parts playing at the same time. I do this by only having one string of delay timers that reaches out and triggers every piece of the song. Even if this song had drums, there'd still only be the one line of timers that reach out and trigger both the drums and the notes. This is the figurine platform that I showed you originally that holds the first eight measures of the song. And these are the repeaters that connect directly to the instruments. They hold the timing for that measure, but each measure, each vertical row, is independent and is only triggered by one of the timers from the main line. This is the keyboard for the song. One great time saver is to figure out all the notes in a song and then just set up a partial keyboard with those notes. Put them in order and then they're easy to remember when you go to wire them. I recommend hitting the wiki which has a set of tables for all the instruments and notes. If it's a long song you'll have a lot of wires that need to go to the same horn so I often hook a medium platform up to the horn and then stick all my wires to that instead, kind of like a big pincushion. Now you might notice that some of the measures look empty and another advantage of wiring like this is not only can you reuse the same horns, but if you have two measures that match up exactly in timing and notes, you can just put a button repeater to keep your spacing neat and tidy, and wire it straight over there and reuse the whole measure. And one last thing. A lot of you want songs that can loop, but you don't want the loop to just last forever. So here's my solution to that. I'm going to do another video on this, but this is the basic rundown. You have a power source, you have your power switch, that goes into a platform. The platform has its cables come out of the side and into these two switches. One of those switches is on, one is off. They both go into a power sensor, both of those are set to gain. Then what you want to do is take your cables from those and put those over to the beginning of your song. 
Once you have that set up, take the wire from the last repeater at the very end of your song, run that over to one more spacer. We need one more delay repeater set up at eight, just like the rest of what we already have. And then that runs over to both of the switches on the platform. All right, now let's give her a shot. As soon as you hit this main switch, that turns your song on. So the pulse comes down to the pulse gate. It switches both of the top switches on the platform. It senses a gain in power and lets the pulse through. Now we'll shut the switch off. So it's going to switch these two switches again, but this time the main switch is turned off and the power won't make its way through. And of course you can wire a big remote button over to the main power switch. So I hope that helps you folks out. I hope you folks ask me any questions you have. I've been having a blast with this and we will see you next time.